By the way, what you just witnessed there is one of the coolest things we've done for this floor. That piece of furniture was one of those, I can't even remember the name of the store, it's one of those stores where you go to and they sell stuff. And they had a cabinet just like that. It was made out of that compressed cardboard stuff. They put a, a finish over the top so it looks like wood and it was all put together with pins. It came in a little box about this big and you could bring it home, you stick all the pins together and put it together. You couldn't hardly pick it up without it falling apart. It was so flimsy. Uh, I actually made, used that, that one for a model to make this one and I put wheels under. Uh, and I used the top. This actually is the original top from off of that, and then there's a plywood top underneath that. So I remade this cabinet out of plywood. I actually need to sand it down, put a coat of varnish on it, because me and Honey Babies talked about that. It still has a little bit of the rough sand, uh, rough grain from the plywood. But that's just something I'll do for another day. But just being able to roll it out of the kitchen, used to be we'd have to unload everything out of it and then two people would have to pick it up so it wouldn't fall apart and bring it in here, move all the stuff, and that was quite a chore. So just rolling it out, rolling it back in, that's an awesome thing. So here's the floor and it's really dirty. Um, it's a kitchen and, you know, gravity pulls everything that's uh, not held up with a spoon or something to the floor. So the floor gets really dirty and because it's a black and white floor it really shows. So I come in here so often, I'll, thankfully it's not a huge floor and I move that much of the furniture out. There's a broom over here. I'll sweep the floor and then move it out. And then I just get down on my, well I start to say hands and knees but I got a little bench here. Sometimes I sit on my little bench and just go around and wash each block one at a time with some water and some bleach. Which is what I'm going to do now. So. Uh, I'm going to decide where is the best place to put y'all so you can watch me do that. Um, it amazes me the things that you guys are willing to watch, but that's part of why I love you so much is because you're so awesome and you hang out with me. Um, maybe you don't have anything better to do, but that's okay with me because neither do I. <laughs> love y'all. One of the things that helps is to you know, try to get as much of this dirt out of here before we start washing it because otherwise it's going to all stick to my sponge or a rag or whatever I use to wash this with later on. Now, what I think I'll do here because you can tell there's a lot of this stuff that I'm literally putting in the air which means I'm going to be breathing it. So I think instead of sweeping I'm going to go get a vacuum cleaner. We're going to vacuum all of this. Okay, that helped a lot, and I think it sucked a lot of that stuff out of the air. So, by the way, I made a video like that once, and I titled it something like "Porn for Women" because I saw someone said somewhere the sexiest thing they ever saw was a man who knew how to run a vacuum cleaner. I thought that was kind of cute. I made it the title of the video. YouTube threw it out because they thought it was inappropriate. It was a video of me vacuuming the floor, but the title caught somebody's attention. So I won't do that again. Uh, so let's get to washing. Okay. Okay. This is the part where I speed the video up so you can see me do the floor. Okay. Before I start this, I will say one more thing. Um, and this is something that's left over from my high school eighth grade science class. Mr. Mr. Coach. I want to say Coach Wheeler, but I don't think it was Coach Wheeler. It was a different coach. Anyway, he taught us that you don't mix bleach and ammonia. It's very tempting to just throw all kind of cleaning products in here and think the more the merrier. You can actually make a poison out of, my understanding anyway, I've never tried it but from him. By mixing bleach and ammonia, you can create a poisonous gas that can overcome you and kill you. So, don't pour all your cleaning products in one little container and go wash the floor with them because you can kill yourself. 
With that said, this is basically just a bunch of bleach and some hot water. And what I'm going to do, and by the way, it's a little bit, <clears throat> you know, you can feel it a bit on your lungs. So what I try to do is not breathe while I'm doing this. Which is all well and good, except that it's hard to stay alive if you don't breathe. But I just thought I'd toss that out there. 